Make sure you stay aware of your emotions throughout this whole process of the time that you have to spend with these people and check yourself so you know when it's time to remove yourself from the situation. Because sometimes that's the, best, that's the only thing you can do. Hello and welcome to Life Hacks with Liv. I'm Olivia and on this channel I share adulting life hacks in the areas of health, wealth, and happiness. This is a little different because it's my self-care series. So this video is dedicated to those people that have toxic people in their lives and in their families. And since the holidays are coming up when I'm shooting this, I thought it was important to help you guys out. So here we go, let's get right into it. So I actually read a book on boundaries and it's super, super helpful. So I'll put the link to that below. So I'm not a therapist, I'm not gonna act like I am. I'm just a regular person that has to deal with toxic people in my life from time to time. Um, and one of the things I heard is, when in doubt, cut them out. But you can't cut out everybody. So these are things to do right now if you don't feel like reading a book right now and that'll help you with dealing with these people. One, focus on the family members or the people that are there that are positive. Focus more, spend more time with them because it, it just, it's not worth it to be around those other people. Second thing, ask yourself if you're overreacting. Now, every case scenario, is it really as big as you making it in your head because they've been toxic in the past? Or, you know, does like one little thing they do like get under your skin? Take that into accountability. Also, if they say something like a backhanded compliment, don't even just be like, okay, thank you. Kill them with kindness. Because then if you're around other people too, they'll see that you're not the problem. And there are probably other people that feel the same way about that same person. So if you can't ignore, if you can't deal with it, definitely stand up for yourself, you know, cause people will only treat you how you allow them to treat you. So be assertive, not aggressive, assertive. When you let these people know, no, you're not gonna deal with this. Um, for instance, my grandmother would always, she's very conservative um, and she would always say things about my dresses being too short. They were at my knees, but they were too short. And, um, you know, it would not, there was a certain point in time, I just, I didn't care anymore. She's like, you know, did you leave the rest of your clothes in your closet? And I would be like, yeah, I did. Like, seriously, because it's like, you just don't, don't put up with it. Seriously, and I'm not, being assertive is not being rude. I, I give so much respect to her, but, don't put up with the crap. Don't, I don't care how old the people are. Don't put up with it. Remind yourself that it's only temporary and just try to get through it. Like, you know, just be like, you know what? I got to do this for five hours, but after that I'm going and set clear and concise boundaries for your time. Don't, oh, well, I want to go do the, if you don't want to spend time any more of this allotted time with this person, don't do it. Cause you're only going to be mad at yourself in the end. On the aspect of being mad at yourself, don't do any negative self-talk. Try your hardest not to allow what they say to you get to you in your head. Say the opposite automatically. Oh, well you look like you've gained some weight over quarantine. Tell yourself, I am beautiful regardless of how much I weigh. You're not around them to feel, make yourself feel any worse. So whatever they say to you, try your best to say something else automatically that is opposite or that is reassuring and empowering to yourself during that time. And that'll make the interaction and all that stuff a lot easier. Reach out to your friends via text or video chat if you have to that have a sound mind and will allow you to talk these things out if you get to the point 
that you feel overwhelmed by who you're dealing with. Kind of remove yourself from the situation. Know, and also know when you need to remove yourself from the situation when things are getting too hard. Now, if this is someone that you have to deal with on a regular occurrence, I highly suggest getting family counseling. And you know what? The ones, the people that are against counseling the most are the ones that need it the most. And let them know that there's nothing wrong with it. A lot of time, a lot of older people don't want to do that. They're set in their ways. And at some point it's like you accept them for how you they are, but they do not define you. And if they don't want to improve the relationship with you, it may be time to let them go. I hope that you found this helpful. And if there was a tip in there that you're going to use this upcoming season with your toxic family or friends, and if there, you can choose your friends in your life. So let me know if there's something in that I said in this that you're gonna use with your toxic family over this holiday season if you have the pleasure of being around them. As always, may you have health, wealth, and happiness.